Good morning, everyone, uh, and welcome to an Atlantic League playoff game. This one between Ed Prem and Tim Furrow. Justin Abramson here with you. I am on a self-imposed hiatus from playing the game uh, after back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back, uh, tough losses that were really kind of no hopers uh, going into the late war. Uh, and I'm just trying to take a little time off before I come back uh, to uh, play my RTSL games and, and continue my ITSL season. But that doesn't mean I can't do some commentary. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, Ed and uh, uh, Ed and Tim played uh, in their first quarterfinal game, uh, I believe around a week ago, and Ed won that game. Ed is the number one seed, Tim the number two seed. And so uh, Ed got to select sides for the first game. They flipped sides for this game. Ed is the USA and playing for a chance to advance to the semifinals to take on Ryan Pinderlet. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Uh, we are going to be watching from Ed's side today. And uh, you will know that because uh, Ed records games for his YouTube channel. And you can see that he is down there in the bottom left. So I hope he's not too much of a distraction for you. He will likely post uh, a video with his commentary after the... Uh, after this game, but uh, has offered to allow me to stream it. So thank you, Ed. Uh, appreciate uh, you you've been willing to help me out and give me a game here, and uh, Tim as well. So um, here we go, and Ed's hand. Uh, Ed appears to have uh, quite an excellent hand. He's got decal in hand. He's also got Europe and Middle East, along with Marshall and Nasser. So Middle East is a guaranteed four victory points. And we will see if Ed is able to get off Europe domination as well. No Europe attack cards in Ed's hand, so we might see um, we might see one out of Tim. Oh uh, yeah, Middle East, the obvious headline here, and Tim goes with AI War. So that's not probably what Tim was uh, hoping to see in Middle East scoring, but he does win the war, gets a couple of VPs out of it. Uh, and that uh, blunts Ed's, uh, Ed's four VPs off of Middle East scoring. And Ted going to go with a two-op coup. This is, uh, excuse me, Tim is going to go with a two-op coup. This is rare for Tim to uh, coup early, especially with Middle East scored. But he goes to the two-op coup, misses cleanly on the roll. Um, and yeah, uh, Gabriel joining in saying he was con would consider going 3-2-2 in Europe, something like that. Um, and yeah, that's it's interesting with Marshall. The the Marshall event is much more useful if you go three three two. Um, but uh, Ed at this point looks like he's going to use it for ops. Tim certainly would have played NATO uh, on AR one if he had it. Um, and Ed spreads out of Iran. Tim with a one op here. I suspect we'll see South Korea or Afghanistan. Yep, that's exactly what he what he does. And to me, this seems like a good time to either go to space or fill up France if I if I were Ed. Ed still does have to worry about blockade. And he's going to go, he's th thinking about going to space. I think that would be my play here. So Ed needs to go to space. Uh, he needs to find three ops to fill up France. He needs to score Europe and he needs to get mill ops. So certainly a good start to the game for Ed, but he has a lot to do here. Okay, Ed thinking about filling up Afghanistan, cutting off access to Pakistan there, getting the VP when Asia scoring does come out. Okay. Unusual to see the U.S. completely fill Afghanistan uh, in the early war, but he doesn't want Tim to threaten Pakistan. Tim also showing a weak hand, so I wonder if we will see Tim go to space here since Ed did not. Gabriel, thank you for joining. I, I for, a, for a long time, thought that your uh, handle was York Villain, uh, and, uh, but it's actually York Villian. So I, I, now I, I just need to, you know, reading the card explains the card. Uh, okay, now Tim tries another coup. Uh, unusual to see Tim coup twice in one turn. Uh, Tim, Tim not a fan of cooing generally, uh, even as the USSR. But he gets the roll this time, knocks Gabriel, uh, knocks Gabriel, excuse me, knocks Ed out of Iran. Um, really was, I'm sure, hoping for that roll the first time around, but he hits it the second time. He wanted to, I'm sure, get a five or a six, which would have given him adjacency to Pakistan, but just a four this time. And now 
Ed goes into Thailand. I suspect that uh, now Ed has decal in hand, and I suspect that he would have uh, that Tim would have headlined Vietnam if he had it. Okay, finally a big roll in the Middle East on Iran, and now Ed with a decision to make. Uh, Ed, I'm sure, wants to fill France and get a Europe domination off. But if he doesn't do it right now, he's going to have to score Europe for blank. He, I'm sure he wants to fill France and get the Dom off, but I'm sure he also wants to fill Pakistan. I'm sure he also wants to fill Thailand. I'm sure he wants to go to space. Okay, interesting. So he goes to Pakistan and to France with the idea probably to give Nasser on AR5, not having to worry about Middle East presence. And he's already lost the AI war. Uh, so doesn't need to worry about giving up access to Egypt. He's Egypt is lost anyway. And then he so he's going to fill up France and then hope Tim does not play a Europe attack card. Ed also is not going to be able to get Melops here. Oh, a big IP war here for Tim. Does he get the roll? He misses. And we will see France here. Yep, and Ed just going to leave one in Thailand and hope we don't see a poke of West Germany here. A little bit of a giveaway here from Ed that he has the scoring to fill up France and leave just one in Thailand. Oh, but Tim has CIA. So Ed is going to... Oh! 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 Oh, oh Ed. Um, the, a blockade event there obviously would have emptied West Germany. But Ed gets lucky and gets away with it. Uh, Tim does not. Tim wants to get rid of CIA, which is an understandable play. Um, and interestingly, Ed goes to Lao instead of Thailand with Vietnam still around. Uh, Lao, definitely an important country. But but uh, Thailand would have, given, uh, would have given Ed Asia domination. So I'm a little surprised to see him go Lao instead. But I understand the move. Okay, uh, so another pretty nice hand here for Ed. He's got containment, five-year plan. He's got captured Nazi for a free two VP. Also gets D-stall, uh, so he's going to be able to... He's likely not going to be able to hold them uh, because blockade in Tim's hand. And yep, and there's Vietnam. So now Tim will be able to swipe Thailand here with just a three-op, with just a two-op, rather, instead of a four. Captured Nazi was a good headline. I, I think if I were Ed, I'd have been too worried about Purge. Uh, and I would have headlined Containment because you know that Tim has Blockade and you know he's going to want to event it not having seen either of the D cards. Okay, we got a 4-op here. I wonder if we'll see... Okay, just not going to use the not going to use the Vietnam bonus. Interesting that he'd use NATO first. Warsaw and Marshall are both in the discard, so there was no hurry to use it. Um... I, I guess, I think Tim probably wanted to spread out of Egypt. And which is, so yeah, he's going to give up a coup of Libya here. And Ed hits the roll, so big roll there for Ed. But Tim gets Thailand, which is uh, obviously important. Thailand, always an important country. And now Asia will be at least a draw for Ed, uh, for Tim rather. Tim, I suspect, will take South Korea here and set up which actually will not give him domination, but it's obviously an important country to take. You could see a Pakistan flip. IP war is gone. You could see a Pakistan flip with China as well. Instead, just goes with a three-op. Okay, and Tim takes South Korea and goes into Malaysia, which forces then Ed to take Indonesia. Also goes Malaysia. So Ed now with one, two, three, he's got six countries in Asia to Tim's four. So even a flip uh, of Pakistan with China card won't give Tim domination. Won't give Tim domination. So. Uh, I think Tim gonna be have to be happy with uh, with plus one here, if he has Asia. Sakov's maybe gonna flip Lao. Yep. 
Yep, okay, so he finally does use his Vietnam bonus there. Now, Ed, we're a little bit worried about a flip of Pakistan, which makes sense. Asia now sitting at five countries to five. Tim also needs mill ops. AI war is gone uh, and won. IP war is gone and lost by Tim. Uh, and so he needs to event Korean War here, uh, or he's not going, or he's going to give up two VPs to Milops and uh, go down, perhaps nine VPs heading into turn three. Not a good position, obviously, for the USSR to be in. Tim also with uh, no access in the mid-war regions. Uh, I'm certain that Tim will want to event blockade here as well. There's the EU. I wonder if we'll... Yep, they're just going to flip over Indonesia. Okay, so that does give Tim domination in Asia. It's going to force Ed to respond. Six countries to four. And so, yeah, this that's not going to do it. Uh, yeah, you need a three op to flip over Laos or Indonesia. Or you need a three op to take Burma and Philippines, which might be the better play because if you use a three to flip over, yeah, I like this. Yeah, because if you use a three to flip Lau or Indonesia, Tim can just flip it back with a two. Country count now even. And Ed with a two op here on AR5 if he needs it to just poke a country. So Tim, if Tim has Asia, he could score the domination by playing the China card into India, three India, and then poke um, anything. And Ed would not be able to stop domination in that in that case. But I'm sure Ed, I'm sure that Tim wants to event blockade as well. with no access in the mid-war regions and neither D-card seen yet. Tim thinking hard about his next play. Tim is an excellent blitz player and uh, is known for playing very quickly. Uh, but he's taking some time on this one. Perhaps he is counting up cards and wondering what could be in Ed's hand. Maybe he's counting up the remaining three ops. And maybe he's considering a play like I just mentioned. Nope, just going to event blockade. Yep, going to do that. And so Ed will dump D stall. He'll space D call here. Yep, and then he'll have a two op ready for AR6. Ed misses on the roll, but he's already got his two VP from Captured Nazi. And there's Korean War, which also needs to be an event. This will be a nice two VP for Tim to get. He does not. He saves the mill ops VPs, but does not get the war. I'd like to see, I, I, I think I'd like to see at least one in India here. Tim still has the China card, so uh, and it looks like there may be a fight in we we may have a fight in Asia on turn three. I don't you know a poke of North Korea is interesting, but I don't know how much it helps. I think I I think with an open battleground sitting there in India, I think I'd I prefer two in India to just one in North Korea. I also don't know that one in North Korea is going to get you the coup. If you are if you're Ed, I think. Depending on who draws Asia, yeah, I like this better. Yeah, I like this play from Ed. I think just putting two in India is fine. Your goal is to just not get dominated in Asia, and you're fine with that. Okay, Ed does not get the scoring. Tim gets the scoring. Ed gets uh, it gets NTB. Oh, he redraws Decal and Middle East, uh, along with five-year plan. So De Gaulle was Tim's really only shot of, of making any gains in Europe, uh, and he doesn't get that. And uh, gets, gets, gets the re remaining four up, and Tim does not have D-call. So um, we will see 
how aggressively Tim wants to when Tim wants to fight in Asia with the scoring in hand. He could just headline the scoring for one. But uh, Ed with plenty of ops here. Now Tim does get purge. I should I shouldn't say he has plenty of ops because he does have because Tim does have purge. So we you do have to think about that. Ed going to headline Middle East scoring, which I think is the right play. Just get it off for one. Um, certainly Ed worried about a big Libya coup potentially leaving him presenceless. So I think accepting a, a minus one in the Middle East is a good play. Tim's got to be thinking about got to be thinking about purge here, but he may also be thinking about is purge really going to help him get domination in Asia because uh, it he really is going to struggle with that. Could use could headline purge play the China card to take India, which would give him seven countries to add six. No, just going to headline Asia. Okay. So Tim's going to take his uh, one VP from Middle East. He's going to take his one VP from Asia. Purge headline and China card into India would have would have been interesting. Probably gets him domination. Uh, but obviously, if Ed has the IP war and and hits the roll, that's a killer. Uh, obviously, getting purge defectored would be terrible. So we will see what Tim wants to do now. Normally, as a U.S. in the early war, I like. Um, I like to, I don't really like to headline Purge, but Purge would have been a pretty good headline against this hand. It would have hit most of these cards. Okay, UN of US Japan, I, I imagine. Oh no, UN of Birth the Turtle. I suspect we'll see a coup of Panama here. Yep, and there it is. Tim missing on the roll, rolls a one. Uh, that is a that is a disaster of a one. Certainly was hoping for a two to clear him out or you know, ideally a three or more to get in there and maybe try a Columbia play. Something like that. Now I wonder if Ed is going to think about a venting five-year plan here. Asia scored. Middle East, in Middle East is scored. Um, a five-year plan is a decent event here. UN is played. So if you event five-year plan, that means Tim has to skip an action round. Uh, or, of course, could play China. Okay, but uh, Ed going to go with the more sensible play, which is to go into Angola and Nigeria, uh, Angola and Algeria, excuse me, and prep for a potential destall, uh, which Tim could have redrawn. Yep, Jordan pointing out that uh, five-year plan event, you know, Tim could have redrawn Europe, and obviously you don't want to hit Europe with five-year plan. But you do know that Tim has purge. So, okay, just a one-op play from Tim. And he just, he goes into Saudi Arabia. Yeah, a weak play from Tim there, especially with Middle East score, but he has nowhere to go. Uh, Tim was able to get Thailand, but other, and he was able to get Thailand and he won the AI, AI war, but really just nothing for Tim to do here on this board. Uh, has no access whatsoever in the mid-war regions, has no access to, in, in Europe, he could, uh, he could conceivably jam, you know, jam West Germany, I suppose, now with Truman gone. But I think if that were his plan, he would have headlined Purge. Jordan mentioning long potential uh, Hail Mary real lines on Panama just to, to clean, clean Ed out. Yeah, Tim Tim is in some big trouble here. He's only going to be down three VPs. Okay, and there's there's US Japan. Okay, US Japan going to space, even with Asia scored, and he hits on the roll. So Tim looks like he's going to be down a couple of VPs heading into the mid-war. Not a terrible position to be in. Okay, and Ed hits the roll. So could potentially see another space shot from Ed. 
And I think, I, I, and, and matter of fact, I think we will. I think spacing Fidel makes all the sense in the world here. Uh, so Ed could pick up a couple of VPs. Special to take Saudi, man. This is not how Tim wants to be spending his ops, I'm sure. But he has nowhere to go. Yep, Fidel. And Ed misses on the roll. De Gaulle now is almost free. And uh, Tim's still hanging on to Purge. There's Romanian. And takes a Middle East Dom with all those action rounds after even a after it was scored. And Ed, I don't like this decision from Ed. I would much rather fill up Panama and Mexico. Uh, I'd even consider going, I, I actually might go to Cameroon here. Um, because you know Tim doesn't want to give up mill ops. Yeah, I don't. I, 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 Middle East is scored. Uh, I would much rather see this be three Mexico, or excuse me, two Mexico, one Panama. But okay, Ed gets uh, Iraq. Interestingly, you know, again, Middle East scored, but with the four in Iraq, three in Libya, no influence anywhere else in the Middle East. So Muslim Revolution wipes him out completely. It's not a bad play. I just think there was more important, were more important things to do. Okay, here's a four op. I think we might see a West Germany gem. That's exactly what we're going to see. Um, and I think Ed will simply fix that. Yeah, fixing that with Warsaw makes sense. I'm surprised Tim went Austria inst uh, instead of Czechoslovakia there. Because if he had gone Czechoslovakia, he could go to Yugo, to Czech, uh, one Poland, uh, which would stop Europe domination with this Warsaw. But obviously, I, I, Warsaw, I, Warsaw was, uh, was not known. So Tim just going to go with the conventional Warsaw, bump up East Germany and Poland by two each, go Czech, that's fine, and fix up a couple of VPs on Milop. So Tim heading into the mid-war in a tough spot, only down two VPs. Uh, oh, and there's Southeast Asia uh, in Ed's hand, so that's going to be helpful for Tim as well. Uh, VOA, normally devastating on turn four. In this case, it's it's just it, it's good, obviously, but it's not uh, it's not great because Tim didn't, doesn't have any access to remove in the first place. No problem cards here, and obviously puppets is great for Ed here. Okay, so VOA headlines suggest we're going to see a Lao and Indonesia flip would be most most likely. Uh, and then that would flip Southeast Asia for from to Tim to, uh, to Ed. So I'm, you know, I don't, if I were Ed, okay, and there's Destal. Oh, that is, oh. And uh, uh, what I was just about to say is, if I were Ed, I would hold on to VOA for uh, a rainy day, not using it in Southeast Asia, hold on to it and, to respond to an access card from Tim. Uh, and instead, that's exactly what he's going to do because Tim headlined D-stall. So wherever Tim goes with his D-stall, Ed can just take him right back out again. Um, and Ed, you know, looking at his facial expression, he, is, uh, he does have that serious, somber uh, expression. Uh, we expect from the colonel, but if it were me, I would be chuckling right now because uh, that is a devastating headline for Tim. Yep. And I think you just take all of those right back. I, I just, you don't, don't even worry about Southeast Asia. Yep. Ed pretending to have to think about it. But that is rough for Tim, and it's going to be even rougher uh, when Ed plays uh, Headlines Puppets. Uh, when Ed plays Puppets, probably here on AR1. So, Tim going to be shaking his head, maybe throwing his keyboard. Um, we will see a coup in Africa here. It's anything but a one. Woof. That's a one uh, in a situation where anything but a one would have been just fine. 
Now, uh, I would expect to see puppets into Venezuela, Chile, and probably Nigeria, uh, and a, a potential Africa control set up for Ed. Decall in the discard, destall out of the game forever. Yep, Chile, Venezuela, Nigeria. Yep, this makes all the sense in the world. And there's Africa. So Tim going to give up four in Africa. Would have uh, certainly hoping to get presence there with that Zaire coup. And instead, just going to have to eat the four VPs. Okay, and there's... So Ed fills up Venezuela and Panama. Here's a four up. Yep, I don't, I don't mind this at all. Tim at this point in big trouble. Okay, misses on the roll. Needs to beat Ed by three on the roll. Misses again. And again, we're not close here. Uh, and again, so four ops for nothing there. I, I expect, uh, you know, I... I think this is a uh, this is a fine time to dump Southeast Asia for minus two. Or if you don't want to do that now, I would flip a country. You could flip a country there. Um, yeah. Okay. Spreading spreading out South America is fine too. Uh, so to uh, preclude potential realigns moving forward. Oh, my goodness. And there is Europe. So five more VPs for Ed. And Tim will take back two of those on Southeast Asia. No path to mill ops here for Ed. Oh, my goodness. Central America scoring. So Africa, Central America, and Europe. All in... Tim's hand. Now, normally when you have three scoring cards in hand, the, the temptation is just to headline one to, to free up your hand a little bit, but I understand what Tim was thinking. He needed to, he wanted to use D-Stall to contest Africa and Central America. Instead, Ed headlines VOA, and then Tim is just left with nowhere to go with his ops. That is, boy, that is rough. Uh, Tim could uh, could safely play CIA here if he wanted to. Could safely play grain sales. Obviously, CIA is out of the deck. Uh, but uh, no no influence at all in the mid-war regions for Tim. IP war. Tim, at this point, just desperate for VPs. Trying to roll a six. That's not close. Tim, not only desperate for VPs, but with nowhere to go with his ops. He needs... And there's two more VPs for Ed. So now South America scoring would be GG. And Tim going to try and stop double space. He will not. Yeah, our man certainly to fill up Chile. And then I think Zaire is good too. Colombia, yeah, Colombia makes sense as well. Um, just ensure you score that domination at the very least. Okay, so uh, Tim with a couple of VPs on Milops again. And oh my goodness, this is a monster. ABM, uh, we will bury you. He's got another four up in Marshall Plan. He's got Bear Trap to forestall a coup. Um... Uh, obviously, you know, even missile envy not not a problem here. We'll just give up. We will bury you. ABM not a particularly strong headline here. I mean, you could use it to coup Thailand. Okay, and there's grain. So yeah, you're just gonna headline Marshall. I think I might have headlined bear trap instead. Marshall. Not that great here with Europe scored, France at six. Uh, and uh, Warsaw in effect, so NATO not a factor. 
but okay, goes with Marshall. I, I think I would think I would have gone Bear, uh, and uh, Tim Tim just going to headline Grain, uh, looking to uh, get uh, get it out of his hand because uh, this is this is rough. Yeah, I didn't. Max is correct. I did not process that. I did not process the grain sales headline from the USSR. Um, that's sorry. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm there. Um, I mentioned missile envy is a problem, but obviously it's not, um, because it is in the discard. So Ed didn't have to worry about that. Ed probably legitimately confused here. <laughs> About the grain headline uh, that suggests that Tim potentially has uh, South America scoring in his hand and just wants to end this thing. And again, uh, you know, this sock govs makes Marshall, uh, or Marshall rather, makes sock govs not even a problem. Yeah, and, and uh, Ed just going to take a coup here. I assume Iran doesn't really matter. Okay, Ed misses on the roll. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Tim going to event loan gunman. That probably his only chance to uh, win the game. Yeah, and that's uh, that is going to do it. So Tim. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Tim without any influence in the. Um, in the mid-war regions, the entire game, well, uh, uh, except, of course, with his D-stall uh, that got immediately removed by VOA in the headline. So didn't end an act, didn't begin or end an action round with any influence in the mid-war regions. That is just wow. Um, so tough game for Tim, but congratulations to Ed. Um, you know, I, uh, I, we're watching from Ed's perspective, but uh, Tim is a friend. I, I've met Tim in person. I like, um, I like Tim. Um, he's a good guy and he's just had a little bit of a rough streak lately. And this one, uh, this one was gotta be tough for him, but, um, Ed gets the win, uh, wins the series and will, uh, wins the series 2-0, all four Atlantic league quarterfinal series and 2-0, including, a um, Gabriel sweeping me, uh, earlier. And that was last week. So uh, Ed will move on to the next round. He'll face Ryan Pindelik in the semifinals. And the other semifinal, Gabriel, uh, will take on Andrew Ahern, who uh, dispatched Justin Nordstrom in the quarterfinals. So four uh, very worthy candidates for Champions League. And uh, I hope that I will get those games and stream them here for you as well. Um, but... Uh, in the meantime, that is going to do it for our stream. Thanks, everybody, for joining this morning. Uh, sorry that the game wasn't uh, a little bit better. And uh, congratulations to Ed Prem. Uh, but until next time, this is Justin Abramson signing off. Everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. So long, everybody.